Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. In the previous episode we have set up a couple of displays in order to see the status of our base, namely the power and also the pressure and temperature. That means as of this point we are probably going to keep this room pressurized, so theoretically I should get used to opening up the mask every now and then. Anyways, what I would like to do in today's episode is build a couple of things that I haven't touched just yet. There are a whole bunch of things in the list here on the computer in the fabricator that we have ignored thus far. So let's actually go through the list. For instance, right here on the top we have the chemistry station, microwave and reagent processor. Three machines we haven't built just yet, so let's go ahead and build one of each. Did we just use up 50 iron or is this even gonna continue? <laughs> Well, at least we got the chemistry station, but now I only have 49 iron left. Uh-oh, something bad just happened. Maybe we're not supposed to use the chemistry station just yet. Yeah, I cannot place it and I got an error. So maybe we leave the chemistry station B for the time being. Okay, I reloaded the save game. Let's try it with the microwave instead. We need to be able to make some food, you know? So microwave it is going to be. This is also much, much cheaper and hopefully we're not gonna have any errors. Come on, baby, you can do it, you can do it. Thank you, microwave. All right. No, I also can't place the microwave. Ah, so maybe these guys are actually portable devices. I wonder where the power is coming from. We probably need a battery, right? But there seems to be no battery slot. And there we go. Chemistry station, can I also just plot you down and... Oh, okay, so that's how it works. Man, this is too intriguing. We need to figure out what we can do with these machines. Let me actually pick that up again. If we hit the R button, then we only have an output. I was kind of hoping for a battery slot here. I'm also gonna build a reagent processor. I do have the materials for that. And just like the others, it seems to be something you put on the floor. Come on, give me that, give me that. Thank you, reagent processor. Drop that right here and yeah, definitely. All right, cool. So I guess I'm just gonna read up on the internet a little bit. I have no idea what else I have to build in order to process some stuff. On the internet it says something about a bench, but I'm not sure what they mean. We have to attach it to a bench. Ah, okay, so I see. I mean, we can make the bench from a kit, the furnace kit, namely. Man, the furnace also requires 30 iron. It's just incredible. But if we pick this up, then we should be able to use the mouse wheel, I'm guessing. Mouse wheel doesn't do anything. Ah, okay. <laughs> My bad. It was a kit furniture and not kit furnace. <laughs> kit uh, furniture. There we go. Who would have thought? There we go. Pick up kit furniture and that's what we can do. We can swap it into a chair or a bench and that's exactly what we need. The bench also has access to power so that is actually perfect. Let me just place it here for now. And then I want to test whether or not we can plot the microwave on top of that. Uh, let me see, we can add it here and then attach it with a wrench. Yeah, connect microwave to bench. Look at that, it is even plugged in. That is such a nice touch. So I'm assuming we can have two different machines on one bench. Just for obvious reasons, I'm thinking that. Okay, cool. Let me think about where exactly we want to plot this down and I'm gonna be right back. Hmm. You know what we could do? Food related items we could place right here. This is actually nice. We can process stuff and we can still look out of the window. I love it. We're gonna try it out with the reagent processor right there and then on the other side we're gonna have our microwave. So we're gonna throw this right here, use our wrench once again just like that. And now all we have to do is uh, connect it to our power. Now of course we need to connect it to the right circuitry. And as it happens, this is a circuitry that is always on. It is the same circuitry as the fabricator and my smelting setup, for instance. So let's go ahead and take apart these two guys very briefly and, and what just happened. I hate it when doors open when I do that. So four-way junction for you and four-way junction for you. What doors are being activated? This is insane. Anyways, we now have the power for the bench, so that is working perfectly. We also have power for the processor, that seems to be good. And is this glowing? Not really. Ah, of course, because we didn't enable this. Great, okay, microwave is working as well. So let's figure out what we can do with these things. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, funny touch. All right, it seems as though I have chosen the right combination of machines. The reagent processor can be used in order to produce milk or flour. We need wheat or soybeans in order to make this work. And I already have these guys, but we need to go outside 
in order to collect my plants. There we go, I have all my stuff right here. We're gonna require the wheat, but I think I'm just gonna split half apart so we can plant these guys again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the soybeans. Alright, let's see this happen. We're gonna enable the bench and also the uh, reagent processor. Well, that does not work for some reason. Ah, I can insert the wheat right here. Okay, wheat is inside and we can turn it on. Alright, well, what was that? Like an error. Huh, let me open that up and check. We got 5% flour. <laughs> what? what do we do with 5% flour? I don't understand. Well, let's add the soybeans and see what happens with those. And you here, enable. And we should be getting uh, the milk, hopefully, once it is done. Ooh, nothing is done. It just consumed my soybeans without giving me milk. Well, let's actually see what we need for the microwave. We need one egg, 10 milk and 50 flour for a muffin and 50 flour only for a cereal bar. Now, does that mean we need like 50% flour? Yeah, add 50 units of flour, but I have 5%, so I'm not sure. What? Okay, uh, maybe let's close that and just enable it, see what happens. Cereal bar is being processed. There we go, we got a cereal bar. I just don't believe it, guys. But guys, using the wheat only, we now have a way to actually provide for our food situation. So before we really utilize these two machines, I want to produce a whole bunch more wheat. So I think we're gonna do a little wheat day in the greenhouse and we should be good with a couple of cereal bars. Yeah, let me actually prepare for this a little bit. I'm just gonna reload my save status where I have this installed but didn't use up my flour just yet. We want to plant all of the wheat we have currently. So see ya in a second. Alright, I am back, we have the same situation, except we didn't use the wheat just yet. So since it is still daytime and our solar panels are working at the moment, we're gonna try to fill up the greenhouse already and plant the wheat. Oh, what is this? What is happening here? That was curious, wasn't it? Was that just a graphical glitch or what is going on in my base at the moment? <laughs> we might never know. Let's uh, grab 10 wheat here and I'm actually also gonna grab 10 soybeans. So eventually we can also make the blueberry muffins. Not sure why I said blueberry because they're certainly not blueberry. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and close off this door right there. Thank you very much. And all we have to do is find the switch right there. This should be it, right? Yes, very good, very good. Fill this room up with about 50 kilopascals. And the temperature is actually already all right. Look at that. That means we have no cool CO2 in our system, basically. It looks as though something is going wrong at the moment. Not sure what. Well, let's go ahead and already plant everything so we can observe what is happening exactly. Uh, the sun just went down, so that gives us a little bit of time to prepare. It's just the pressure is a little concerning to me. It feels like we should produce a little more CO2. We should be able to manage that though. Let's just uh, close off this door and enable this guy. I'm gonna get rid of all the pressure here. And we can go ahead and produce some more CO2. All I'm gonna need for that is my trusty silicon. We need to enable our filtration system. And I guess we need to go outside again. So yeah, a second airlock would definitely be nice into the other direction, not denying that. Alright, here we are, let me see, is there any tank that is uh, considerably close to exploding? This one here has already 14 megapascals, but it is the volatiles tank, so we will not be getting any of that. Yeah, I think we can easily add our silicon without anything exploding. So let's actually do that, I'm also gonna enable this valve. And of course we also have to open up the furnace, so we get back our silicon. Cool. Let me just do that for a couple of times and I'm gonna be right back once I feel like we uh, should have enough of the CO2. We have enough of the CO2, at least in the greenhouse, once we see this tank filling up without emptying itself anymore. This method does seem a little bit cheap, I have to admit, but look at that. We're getting exactly what we wanted to see. Do I see this correctly? We only have 6% power left. And it is going down a considerably quick. Oh man, we need to prevent the entire system shutting down. Let me just add that one more time and then we're gonna go back up into the greenhouse. Maybe disable the functionality in case things are still running. Though it's only the cooler that is running at the moment, which is not bad. That is actually a good thing. Oh no, did I lose all my plant? <laughs> no. <laughs> did I lose all my plants? Are you freaking serious? Yeah, nothing is on there. Why did they die? Ah, it must have been too hot, probably. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna reload the last save game. 
I think for now, just to make it a little bit easier for me, I'm gonna disable my entire system, we're gonna enable the filtration and get rid of the entire pressure in this room. I need to be able to work a little bit more efficiently and we don't want to use up as much power as we are doing at the moment. This is so weird, can you hear these sounds? I mean, what is this noise? I don't understand. What is, what is leaking? I just go ahead and plant the plants and let's see if they survive now. So the cooling system is definitely something I want to overhaul. This wall cooler here doesn't quite work as intended and I already talked about this with someone in the comments and I think we have a good solution for that. But for today we're just gonna have to manage the temperature ourselves. So I guess before we reach 50 degrees or something along these lines, we want to make sure we kind of exchange the CO2 that is already in this room. So maybe let me just test this out. If we enable this, theoretically we should be able to take away a little bit from the temperature, but actually not enough. God, this is insanity. I mean, this feels fairly unrealistic that these plants are able to raise the temperature in such a way, even without the sunlight. Hey, look at that. Our plants are just gonna freaking die again. We are already at 40 degrees and I have no means to actually lower this. All of the CO2 we have in our pipes is already heated up. That is kind of an issue. Ah, okay, so finally it is uh, getting daytime. So we just have to get through this day essentially. If I enable this active vent, I mean we can lower the temperature slightly. It does not go down at the moment. Oh man, just don't do this to me guys. I don't want my plants to die again. Because that would mean before we can get to cooking, we have to improve our cooling system here. Yeah, it's going to happen. We're already at 52 degrees. This is insanity. Insanity, I tell you. There we go. The plants are starting to die. I'm really, really disappointed at the moment. So maybe for the time being, let's uh, disable the system and we're just gonna suck out all of the air. Let's have a quick look at this pipe. We still have minus 59 degrees, so that is theoretically okay-ish. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's worth starting this right now. I want to dedicate another episode in order to fix all of the stuff that I observed going wrong at the greenhouse. I was just hoping to actually be able to grow at least uh, one set of wheat so we can make more cereal bars. I feel like we can still accomplish this. All I have to do is plant the plants as soon as it gets daytime and not do it during the night already. Let me try this out. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the lower temperature even lower. So maybe we go down to 285. And also the higher temperature I want to set to maybe 295. Everything a little bit cooler. Oh look at that, I can even see the watts from my greenhouse. I mean, it's not clearly visible, but I can see that I have something left. What I think I'm gonna attempt this time is only plant the wheat. I mean, if we have half the plants, we probably produce half the temperature. At the moment, the temperature is not going up at all. So it's solely the plants that are producing the temperature. And I really wonder what this noise was and why it disappeared right now. What, what changed? <laughs> I'm ready, son. Whatever it suits you. You, you can just come up. Ah, no. No, that almost fooled me. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's it. That's our clue. Let's go ahead and plant everything as quickly as possible. At least all of the wheat. Just the wheat, to be honest with you. Oh, it's dying. Maybe the temperature is too low, but the temperature is gonna go up tremendously, so I'm just hoping the temperature is gonna be right before they die. Otherwise, I'm gonna scream internally for the rest of my life. Yeah, there we go. The plants are regenerating, that is great. So 15 degrees is the lowest you want your temperature to be at. That means I will have to set it up three more degrees in my system, but that's fine, that's absolutely fine. Now, let's just hope we're gonna survive the day and as soon as we can uh, harvest them, I'm gonna do that and to wrap up the episode, we're gonna make another cereal bar. So I will catch you guys as soon as this happened. The cooling system at the moment enables at 22-ish degrees, so that's not too bad. I think we can leave this be. We are already at the second growth stage of the weed, so I have high hopes for this last attempt. So maybe having this many trays is just not manageable. Maybe 10 plants for one of these greenhouses is just enough in order to be able to easily deal with stuff. What do you think about that? What is your experience with that? Ah, there you go. Plants are growing into their second stage, or third stage, I think that is already. That means the next stage should make them harvestable, theoretically. Ah, there we go. I think this should be the final growth stage, so we managed to do it. 
let's go ahead and harvest these guys. I'm probably gonna keep 10 as seeds and 10 of them we're gonna produce into cereal bars. So let's disable the system and get rid of the pressure in here. Okay, there we go. We collected most of the stuff that's in here. Let's just go ahead, open up this door. And before I forget it, I also want to make sure we have this at the right setting. So the cold temperature should be going up to 288. Then we have the right amount of degrees for the plants to survive. There we go. We're going to place the soybeans and half of this stack in here. And now let's produce some cereal. <sighs> okay, finally, that was what we were working towards. 10 wheat in here. Let's process that and let's see if we get 10% out of it. I wonder what this error flash was. Or was that just, it's done? And now it's 6%, not 10%. I just can't pretend to understand what is happening. Oh, okay. Hold the phone. So we did get two of them. Another one for 2%. If we close this again, we get another one. <laughs> what does the percentage mean? There we go. We seem to be done. All right. So let's put this in here and see what happens. Maybe the percentage is the... The quality, I'm not so sure, but we do get a cereal right there. It is 100% for the cereal. Close this and we are making yet another one. Great! So guys, I think we can enable the hunger again. I disabled it because it was kind of going too quickly for my taste. If we just need to spend the one or other day in order to produce some wheat, then we should be okay. And I just accidentally dropped a cereal bar in here. Can I uh, get that back? Yes. <laughs> All right, cool. I like it. I like it very much. But yeah, guys, I think with that out of the way, we are going to wrap up today's episode. I thank you so much for watching. We're just going to leave the food here on the ground. Now, also, what is this? Why is this not lined up, for instance? This is so crazy. <laughs> what is going on with this game? Anyways, guys, I think right now is a good time to wrap it up. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.